Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. So in today's video we're going to be testing out the A13 from Pow Kiddy. As you know I love my arcades, I love my bar tops. I have so many different types of arcade units in the past. I haven't really shown them on the channel because you know there's so many videos. You know I, I have the, the JXD. I have I have lots and lots and lots of them. One thing that is always predominant with these arcade things has been wiggle sticks. So not having the actual arcade sticks and having far too much travel in the response. So it sometimes makes the games a little bit unplayable. Uh, not for the simple fact that you can't play them. It's just that for like fight arcade fighting games, you need that instant response to do a move or do a series of gestures on the arcade stick in order to pull off a move in time to actually counter attack and attack with the wiggle sticks because they have so much travel you know the time that you've pulled out a move you've been hit so you know it, it can be incredibly frustrating now they're not too bad for like arcade platformers or you know run and gun uh shooters that's fine racing games that's fine but as i say for side scroll and beat ups again that's fine but I'd say for actual fighting games, they were virtually unplayable. Enjoyable still. You get used to it. But the travel was too much. So Pal Kiddy, the lovely people at Pal Kiddy, which you know I absolutely love. And they are stepping it up. Absolutely incredible. Oh, keep an eye out for N64 and PlayStation on the Techlast M40. Guys, honestly, if you're not excited about the Pal Kiddy X18, wait till you see the performance on PSP and N64. Wow, so exciting, so exciting. Anyway, so this is the A13, absolutely incredible. I've seen lots of reviews on it already. It's a bit late to the party coming here on the channel. But I just wanted to show you guys just how amazing it is. Now, I'm not a big fan of the choices of actual colours that Pal Kiddy use. Uh, I think I think they can do a lot better. I don't know who chooses the colour palette or who chooses the final colour. But I'm not a big fan. Love Pal Kiddy, but I'm not a big fan. And I feel that this version is the same as what I felt for the RGB 20, the Famicom version, the red and gold one. Just not a big fan. So let's get this out the box. Jesus, we've packed this tight. Boom, here we go. So we've got kind of a beige box. It just has a few images of the actual system itself. It is a clamshell. It does have a unique feature where you can take out of the box the arcade stick itself, screw it into the device, and then we have, comes with a nice little handle on the top. Not that you need it. Or are you gonna carry it anywhere? Cause it gets delivered to your door. Yeah, okay. So it's a bit of a big beefy box this one guys because I think it's 10.1 inch. It does rock some really good specs. If I can be actually bothered to find the specs and put them on there, but it's quite good. Okay, so usually with toilet paper, USB type C, memory foam protection, Nice little bag. I suppose this red is a little bit better now it's actually in person. It matches my speakers type of thing, but it's still. <coughs> That's the red it should have been on the... Yeah, so what do we get on the bottom actually? Okay, so five volts. Doesn't really say much. On the back it does actually boast some quite nice features it's got a hdmi out so you can actually use it as a console machine 
We have two USB, obviously for extra controllers. It comes with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, um, DC charging, also your micro SD card. I think it comes with a 32 gig, but obviously you can add your own. It comes with a power button. Obviously it does have a lithium battery inside, so you can use it as a portable device. Over time, I will pin a comment to say how long the battery life is actually on it. So if we open it up, this is the nice thing about it, is the fact that, ooh, I don't wanna smash my ocarina of time. Okay, so the hinge isn't too bad. It's quite stiff. So it doesn't matter where, there's not much give to it. It actually feels quite nice, actually. So it doesn't go, that's as far back as it goes. It's more like a, so that's the actual furthest it will travel, which isn't too bad. It comes with your start, select, return button, volume. We have six nice arcade style buttons. They feel quite nice actually. I'm really impressed really to be honest. Now it does it is plastic but it's quite solid actually to be honest. I don't think it feels cheap in all honesty and it's heavy man it's absolutely solid. It ain't gonna go anywhere on the desk. You throw any left or right movements on that this thing is not going to slide it may slide on this mouse huge mouse mat cover that i have but it has rubber feet so if it's on a table or a glass surface then it will not shift you know what i'm like i do not like these screen protectors it looks like there's two it looks like there's another one so i may have to uh it's got little bubbles. I may have to get the scalpel out. I will let you know if that is or not. So as we open this little trap door here, as you can see, we can roll the ball and there we have a nice not wiggle stick. As Wicked Gamer and Collector would say, if you're watching, hi Wicked. Everyone else say hi Wicked in the comments, he does watch and he does do random comments. So if you do see him on the channel guys, Wicked Gamer and Collector, go subscribe to his channel. He's an absolute madman, but I love him to bits, he's awesome. Go check him out. Okay, so yeah, it feels really nice to be honest. Let me just test the arcade one up. Yeah, it really is very, very similar. That's not too bad. It does feel a little bit loose, but that's not a bad thing because obviously you can immediately get your moves out. Okay, so let's start this bugger up and let's see what's on it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Is there any juice? Welcome! So it's a 10.1 inch display which I think is absolutely huge. It's the biggest arcade, portable arcade screen that I've experienced so far. And I'm a big fan. Viewing angles are absolutely lovely. Don't know if you can see, but it is an IPS panel. Look at that, that is bloody awesome. I'll tell you what, if you pulled this out in a coffee shop, you'd have everybody round the table. What the hell is that? Not that you would, because it'd just be embarrassing. Talking about coffee, just let me take a sip. Delicious. Okay, so we've got history, we've got game, we've got movie, we've got file, and we've got settings. Let's quickly go into settings. We've got language. Obviously English, what's back button? That's back button. We've got display, full screen, equal proportions. So it will have the three by, uh, three by four aspect ratio when you have the equal proportions, guys. Just for the demonstration of this video, 
I may do one later if it's like got any N64 games on there because I haven't got a clue what is on here. So I'm just going to stick with full screen. Let's go back. We've got themes. Only three themes, but if there's themes here, I'm sure you will be able to add your own. I kind of like that one, so I'm going to stick with that bad boy. Backlight, it's on level four, so it's on the brightness, and it is bright, guys. I have to admit, timeout. Connections, computer, handle, clear, restore. Okay, let's go to file. So we've got system volume information. So if we go to game, it does give us the list. So CPS, FBA, Famicom, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Gear, Mega Drive, N64, Neo Geo, PlayStation, and Super Famicom. Nice selection. Then we've got music, settings again. I don't know if they're gonna take us in. So we've got res. Ooh. Okay, and we've got RetroArch. I wonder if we'll be able to update it then. We might be able to update that if the files are there. If they're on the SD card and we can get access to it, we might be able to update RetroArch to the current version as well. And also upload the cores, new cores. Nice, that is nice. I like it. We've got video, comic book splash MP4. Hope it's nothing naughty. <laughs> Ooh, I tell you what, the sound's good. Thumpy, bassy. That's enough of you. Okay, so if you want to put movies on there, guys, you are more than welcome. I think we've got some settings for... It didn't do anything. Well, we haven't got settings for that, whatever it was. Okay, so games, what have we got? So we have this common theme in a lot of older products that I've tested. You can actually rearrange these and swap these out. One of my good friends who loves a seven inch screen will say this is probably too big, uh, but he is a wizard and a master of the X18 and X15. He is an absolute wizard. He changes all this display, adds his own artwork and so forth. You'll probably pop in the comments if you want to know how to do it. He's the man. He always comments on there anyway of how to do it because he's just such a legend. Oh, another cup of tea. I just want to give a little mention to the new Sonic Ornament arrangement. This is from Tubbs. It is a Sonic rubber ducky. I'm sorry guys, I just absolutely love it, so I just thought I'd have to get it. So welcome to Sonic Rubber Ducky. Okay, so we're gonna test out everything on here. Let's see how it performs. It's gonna feel really weird playing some of these actual games with an arcade stick, I feel. But let's let's see what it's like. Let's have the games do the talking. So we'll kick things off with a bit of arcade since it is a portable arcade. So it is coming and rocking with some nice artwork. Let's see if I can actually get a bit closer with this, guys. So we can see. Don't laugh at my gameplay because I am playing on a bit of an angle. Okay, so it was quite a lot. There's seven pages, so looks like there's 170 games, maybe. Maybe, maybe more, in fact. Let's go with a bit of Street Fighter Gem. I don't know if anyone's played this, but I was addicted to it for a while. Yeah, it definitely looks like there is a screen protector on here as well. Personally, I'm going to get the scalpel out and I'm going to cut it out because there is air bubbles. Maybe if I can get something to get those air bubbles out. As you can see, I'm moving that one over. So it's nice that it's been double protected. i tell you what, guys, the screen is really nice. And it sounds really good. Let's go. Do, do, do. 
Always him, always Mr. Zangief, and he absolutely destroys me in this game. Anyway, that's really cool. Let's check out how it works. So if we press the back button, it gives us a yeah, a half-hearted, it gives us a half-hearted retro arch menu. So you've got save state, load state, input, reset, quick retro arch, resume. Okay, as I say, hopefully there is some hacked stuff going on by the wonderful community and we might be able to update the firmware. I think a few people have let me know already that you can, which is fantastic. So let's check out Final Fight. It'd be nice to play two players actually, plug in a controller. If you want me to do a video where it is on the TV guys, then let me know in the comments uh, and I'll gladly do a video just solely on that, just how it actually works and if it is good resolution and stuff on a big screen. I'll do the actual TV, like 75 inch TV. But so far guys, I, I absolutely love it. And it's, at the moment it's like 99 pounds. I think it's a bargain. Okay, so we know that Arcade's going to do well on this little portable Arcade, but let's now see just how well the actual console systems. Let's go with Famicom Street Fighter 2. Do we have the same experience? Looks 
looks like we'll have to make our own noises for the uh Hadouken! Subrachajujin! Oh Chun Lee is kicking my hoop. Yeah, it definitely feels a bit weird, but I think you'll have to just get used to it really. But yeah, let's move on to something else. La 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 Game Boy. This is going to be mad playing Game Boy. I'll tell you what, the Rockman games would be a good test, wouldn't they? Let's go with Rockman 2. <laughs> Great start. Come on. feels a little bit crazy playing with an arcade stick but definitely not unplayable quite enjoyable actually you forget just how ruthless this game is third Definitely gets the old heart race pumping that game. Okay, so Game Boy, Game Boy Color, NES, all been wonderful so far. Let's check out. This says Game Boy Color, but I have a feeling it's going to be Game Boy because it's just like these systems to mess it up. Game Boy Color, and it's actually Game Gear. <laughs> Is it? Come on. Let's go. Let's go to the cap. Red school. Yes, yes, yes. I 
Dang it, fool! getting into that okay let's move on let's go with a bit of original metal slug PS1 games, what are we looking like? Do, do, do. Dragon Heroes, a bit of Final Fantasy, Resident Evil, Tekken, Ridge Racer. La, la, la. Let's go with a bit of Tekken 3 because it's made for this machine. But yeah, there shouldn't be any problems at all with PS1. Nice to have that option, really. So you've, you've got all well, the hand, handhelds and consoles. Fight. It's pretty nice. A nice little arcade box. Look at this.
Oh, you swine. Okay, let's try some N64 to finish it off. Ah, N64 is not actually in the menu, so there might not be any games. But let's go back and see if... I think it was file. Ooh. How many games is there? Oh, not many. So it's running Moopin 64 Plus. We've all got 64 written in there, but I don't know which one is. Let's test them all. Do we have good N64 performance? So the options there and easy to run games should actually be okay. And as I say, you can add cores. So the best thing to do is just add a few cores. I'll do that in another video actually guys. Let me add some cores and then we'll retest. Retest N64 in another video. Same again, guys. It's not mapped. That's not a, an actual problem, though, because we can sort that out with a press of a button. Go to input. Input one. And there we have all the options. Up, down, left, right, enter key, blah, 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 blah. So you can do it there, or you could just simply plug in a pad and you'll be good to go. I'll do that in another video and I will update the cause if I can and put that in another video alongside the HDMI out, guys. So my impressions, I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I think if you're looking for something that is an arcade experience, obviously you can't get any better than this as a portable device to take with you anywhere. Um, it's not too massive. Let's see how well this actually unscrews. Yeah, it, it's been playing fine. I'm now unscrewing the ball. It's quite easy to do. You pop it away. You stick it away. You turn off the device. You close the uh, clamshell and you're good to go. Whack it in your bag. Take the pad with you so you can have two players with your friends. Take the HDMI so you can go around and... It's a nice little party piece, guys. It really, really, really is. Now, I wasn't a big fan of the red on other handheld systems from Power Kitty, but now this is actually in person. The red is really dark. It's kind of dark like my speakers. I actually really, really like this one. I didn't think I would, but I actually do. So let me know what you think, guys. I'll leave a link in the description, non-affiliate, from the trusted seller where I got them. There's thousands of games on there. Go fill your boots, have the arcade experience, in your bed, sitting there playing some absolute mastermind classics. Can't go wrong. I just think it's an absolute bargain for £100. Would I recommend it? 110%. Link in the description. 
Let me know in the comments what you think. Are you going to pick one up? What do you think of the performance? And what do you think for the price? Is it acceptable? I think so. It's well made. It's heavy. It's robust. Yeah, it's. I think it's an absolute bargain. Please like, share, subscribe for more crazy China handhelds and systems. I'm now going to be doing some lots of modding over the next couple of weeks as well, guys. So please keep an eye on the channel for that. Hit the bell notification. But as always, guys, please like, share, comment, all that lovely stuff. And as always, take care.